Hello there everyone and welcome to my very first World of Tanks mod review. Now before we get started I just want to say a few things. Uh, now first I've been aware of World of Tanks mods for some time and a while back someone even suggested that I review a few. Well back then the only place I could find them was on the Nexus and at the time there was nothing there that struck me as being review worthy. Uh, not that they weren't quality mods, they just didn't strike my fancy. Now, a few months ago I saw an announcement on the World of Tanks website about their very own mod portal and the rest is history. Now, one of the reasons I had originally kind of avoided uh, doing World of Tanks mod reviews is that I wasn't sure what was kosher to have installed. Now, I made some inquiries with uh, World of Tanks via email and Twitter and I got nothing back. But suddenly there was this official mod site and it's just been awesome. Now the mod site has a ton of mods ranging from reskins, crosshairs, hangers, mini maps, interface changes, and tons more. I probably spent a couple of hours digging through the site and I barely scratched the surface. But for today's review I'm just going to cover three of those mods. I chose these because uh, they are three that I use all the time and I find them indispensable. First up we have Gnome Fathers slash Zorgain's Historical Realism Gun Sounds. Now this is literally the first mod I looked for when I started browsing the official mod portal because it was one I'd had before and I absolutely loved it. Now I don't remember the site where I originally found it but I do remember that all of a sudden it stopped receiving updates and I assume now that was because they were being posted on the official World of Tanks website instead. Now what this mod does is make the gun firing and reloading sounds more realistic, but not only that, it adds effects like echo and reverb so the sounds may be different according to tank location and distance to your target. Now the sounds for the tanks are unique so you won't hear the thunderous boom of an O knee coming from an Easy 8. Now I'm going to show you a few samples uh, before and after and uh, so you can get the an idea of uh, how much better the gun sounds now. Now so sit back, relax and enjoy and we will be back after the clips. Well, as you heard from the clips, the difference is awesome. Now, you're not just hearing my tanks fire, but you're hearing others in the background as well, and the battlefield just echoed with the booming sound of destruction. Now, I was in the United States Navy, and we provided what's called NGFS, or Naval Gunfire Support, so I've heard the sounds a large caliber gun makes when it fires, and this sound mod comes pretty damn close to the real thing. Now combine this with the reloading sounds and this mod is simply amazing. I want to thank Zorgang for picking up the torch on this mod and continuing to update it and improve it. Next up we have Replay Manager by WG Mods. 
As a YouTuber, this mod has been absolutely essential for locating the proper replay to record clips and even full match videos. This tool makes it easy to sort battles by date, credits earned, experience, vehicles destroyed, damage, vehicles spotted, and assistance. You can also limit it by day, week, month, and all time. Now one of the handiest functions I think is you can view the results of past battles and uh, one of the other handy ones is to delete battles that you don't want to keep. And uh, believe me, I've had a few I would rather forget. Now also if you choose you can upload uh, the replay to the worldoftanksreplays.com web website and get a link for later perusal. Now finally, you can launch a replay from the handy, well-designed interface and it'll automatically disconnect you from the server, restart the client, and run the replay. Now for that to work right, you need to do one thing, and that's to go into your settings and under the general tab, scroll down to where the replay section is and set your replay retention to all. Now I think by default it is set to last, which means you only retain the last game you played. That being said, remember to clean out that replays folder once in a while. I, I let mine run up to almost 300 replays once. Well, anyway, as I said before, this is an essential mod for me, and it makes locating and handling replays so much easier. Last but not least in the review, we have Replay Free Cam by Alpha Save One. Now this is another fun and very handy mod that I have recently started using, not just for my videos, but sometimes it's handy to figure out what happened in a battle if you didn't quite catch it while you're in the midst of the action. And sometimes I just use it for the lols. It's, it, it is a lot of fun. Now what this actually does is it allows you to go free camp in the hangar or in a replay and sail around to your heart's content to either just check things out or do some serious recording like I do for a video. Now the controls are fairly simple. Now to start the free cam, you hit the caps lock and F3 keys. The W, A, S, and D keys move the camera around while the Q key increases the altitude and the E key lowers it. The camera flight speed can be altered from dead slow to flying like Superman by using the one through zero keys on your keyboard. The C key locks the camera to a central pivot point allowing you to circle at 360 degrees. Insert is the zoom in key and delete is the zoom out. The X key will lock the camera at the current height and if you target a tank while hitting the B key that will lock the camera onto the tank and auto follow it around while still allowing you to alter the viewing angles. Now there's a P key, which is sort of a camera stabilizer cinematic mode. Now I've played with this a little bit and it is actually very useful. I will say uh, the one thing you want to do is plan ahead because it does kind of slow down the camera movement. So you know, keep that in mind if you decide to use that. Now hitting the caps lock and F3 key again or right clicking will return you to the normal camera mode. I could safely say that even if I wasn't a YouTuber, I would probably have this mod anyway, and that's for two very good reasons. One, it is just plain fun to play around with, and two, it is great for after battle analysis to see what went wrong, or in some cases, what went right. It's also great for catching those epic screen caps. Now I've also used it to see my tank from my opponent's point of view, and I can tell you that that is a bit of a trip. Well, that's it for the review. All three of these mods are not only enjoyable and easy to use, but very useful as well. Now, I do have one more bit before I go about the replay manager that I feel I should mention, and that is if you try to launch a replay from an older version of the game, it may not work. However, you may still be able to launch it manually by finding it in the replays folder and double clicking it in there. Now I encourage all of you to try out these mods for yourself and if you find them as great as I have, uh, remember to hit that like button on the mod page and maybe drop the author a note of thanks in the comments. Well I hope you found this video informative and useful and if so please hit the like button, leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. Once again I'm your host Porterhouse and I will see you all at the next review.